Welcome back to Caragon tutorial. Today we are going to design a simple volleyball with the help of surfacing tool. Many viewers asking surfacing tutorial. So this is one of the tutorial of surfacing for them. So let's see how to do this in SOLIDWORKS with the help of surfacing tools. So here we are going to make a volleyball with the help of surfacing tool. So let's start. Front plane, a sketch select circle and draw a circle right click exit center line draw one center line one end to another end exit choose a smart dimension and keep the diameter 150 mm 50 millimeter 150 millimeter trim entity and delete this half area power trim to closest okay now go to surfacing select here revolve surface now see the center line selected as a axis okay now this is the plane simple plane ball now we will make some geometry first uh, create one plane front plane 90 mm 90 millimeter front side okay now select this plane one sketch choose here center rectangle and draw one rectangle right click exit now select vertical and horizontal line and make relation equal ok smart dimension and define the length according to calculation I define some I, I found it this dimension so it should be just no, note down for uh, 86 point it's quite bigger but this is better 86 point 60 25 40 38 millimeter okay now select these two lines and delete it so these two dimensions are perfect what we need go to surface and select here extruded surface keep the length 110 mm select here reverse direction see ok now you can hide this plane now top plane sketch take the position and draw the same procedure a rectangle and let's define 86.60 25 40 38 mm millimeter okay now select these two lines defined equal okay now this horizontal line deleted this vertical line we already only need surface extrude surface here keep 129 or direction 2 129 that's it okay now it's time to choose right plane sketch we will repeat the same procedure let's define it eighty six point sixty twenty five forty thirty eight I'm a millimeter exit now choose two lines equal relation that's it now here also select both the horizontal line and delete now go to surface extruded boss uh, surface extrude in both direction keep 129 millimeter okay so now here actually what we want to do we want to make we want to cut one surface for volleyball so now it's time to choose one option trim surface uh, no we need to create some 3d geometry so 3d sketch selected now go to tools go to here sketch tools and here you will find one option intersection curve select the ball 
and select this face and this face okay now see here some edges we found again select ball and this this plate this surface okay now you can see it here we found here complete geometry okay select here okay now exit now select right plane a sketch now we want to convert it some geometry this is what we created with the help of 3d sketch so just select this this side this front side face only this geometry what we created left uh, behind geometry and select here convert entities now see we created a geometry with the help of 3d geometry you can go to surface and here you will find trim surface now this is the main sketch 5 here selected keep selection and this selection we want to keep other all we want to remove it natural trim now you can see other all surfaces trimmed now it's time to hide this all geometry even hide this 3d geometry also now see this is the only one side face available now we will convert it into three parts so let's do this choose here front plane sketch draw one center line from top to bottom choose here line and draw three line escape again choose and three lines select the line and make relation horizontal okay now let's define the gap between this according to our standard dimension the same 86.60254038 mm by 3 mm here also the same the same 60.60254038 by 3 mm let's check the middle mid one it's by default the same now go to find out here one option split line now the current curve is selected sketch is selected just select the front line so that this front line will be projected on this curve okay that's it you can see here it's simply projected here now we want to give thickness but before giving thickness we need to uh, do one thing uh, give surface first so that this three will be separated offset surface 2 mm reverse direction okay again offset 2 mm here clear this surface reverse direction 2 mm millimeter the third one clear third offset 2 mm reverse direction okay so now this three surface we created now it is separate now let's define the thickness clear first we will define this thickness first one keep 2.5 mm because uh, we we want to create some fillets so that's why we are going to keep 2.5 actually it should be 2 mm but uh, let's see how it helps keep upper one side one 2.5 mm okay uh, keep merge result okay but other two we will not merge 2 mm unmerge this surface okay 
now see here the check the last one this and merge result 2 mm 2 mm okay now you can see here a little step it help us to reduce the see let's define the fillet constant fillet 2 mm to just define the th uh, fillet we kept it 2 mm okay again choose fillet start from this point okay so this selected here so select this point millimeter okay now the last one is remaining thickness oh sorry fillet 2 millimeter two millimeter okay now here you can see you can hide this inside uh, layer so just hide it that's it now it's complete geometry you can see it here select this face red okay now select this face white select these two face and we will make it white okay now it's time to again define face fillet here select this first fillet face and second face keep 1 mm corner radius this face along with the second face okay fillet this face and here define second face so the whole face become 1 mm curve radius third face any one corner you can select 1 mm radial dimension okay so now this is what we created three strips of volleyball now we will uh, mirror and rotate this geometry and we will make it our full volleyball first do one thing show here temporary axis now choose here circular pattern bodies one two three Three sixty degree, four numbers, equal spacing. Okay, that's it. Now again, we want to rotate this body. So go to insert feature, and here you will find out move and copy option. Now select isometric. this side 3 and opposite direction 3 ok now x axis rotate 90 degree in x direction ok now you can see it's one time rotated now here uh, we need one more axis one more so let's draw it one line so it help us let's say front plane a sketch draw one center line exit now let's we want to mirror the same way uh, not the mirror uh, let's exit 
and uh, choose here circular pattern this time we will choose three bodies one two three and for axis we will select this created axis two numbers and keep the angle 90 90 degree okay now see its upper side created now we will repeat the same thing these three bodies we selected and here select this axis select here two numbers 90 degree reverse direction okay so the bottom line also we created hide this temporary axis now it's time to rotate we want to rotate this three body so let's rotate it insert go to insert feature and select here move and copy two three four five six see both the six bodies we selected in opposite direction and go to y axis and select 90 degree now it's time to rotate see you can see the preview here okay so see it's your volleyball ready just hide this plane so this is your beautiful volleyball we did not create anything inside but it looks nice we created this volleyball with the help of surfacing tool those many viewers asking for the tutorial of surfacing i hope you like it please subscribe our channel for more video and more projects in SOLIDWORKS. Don't forget to share and like our videos. Thanks for watching.